What's up, MMA fans? Back to do 2010 MMA Prospects, Volume 3, Part 1. I um, hope everybody's enjoying the uh, UFC 113 card in Montreal tonight. And myself, unfortunately, I'm working on a project in the uh, Canadian Arctic, and I don't have access to uh, satellite television. Fortunately, I do have a high-power booster and a, a, a satellite for my air card, so I can kind of get the play-by-play on Shared Agor MMA Weekly. Um, of course, it's not as good as watching the fights, but at this point, you know, it kind of helps a guy get through missing a good card like that. Um, getting into this video, if you, uh, anybody who watched my videos, especially the first few, noticed that, you know, the name was Unknown MMA Prospects. I've kind of changed that to MMA Prospects as a new title. Um, still, most of the fighters I talk about are relatively unknown to the casual fan. In this video, I'm kind of going back to that that stage. The list of fighters I'm going to talk about, you know, a large amount of them are really known, uh, even to some of the hardcore fans. Some of these guys will be new. Um, and the biggest thing for me is, I think out of the ten fighters I'm going to talk about, they're fighters that are from six or seven different countries so it really to me shows how huge this sport is getting I mean there's prospects worldwide and all different parts of the world to me it just shows me you know this sport is gonna get nothing but bigger so anyways without further ado let's begin first guy I want to talk about is Cody McKenzie 11 wins no losses one knockout 10 submissions 6 feet tall 145 pounds fancy pants fight team 22 years old, American fighter, of course, trains with the great Lyle Fancy Pants Bear Bomb, also a Travis Bush. Originally from Alaska, he started training in MMA in high school four years ago, and has compiled nine straight wins via guillotine choke. Quite interesting. Doesn't have a manager, finds his own fights. Uh, sometimes Fancy Pants does help him in that aspect of his career. I think Sheridan has him listed at 11-0. Um, MMA core has a different record for him, 13-1. Um, after doing some further research, I uh, found out that he had uh, actually had quite a few amateur fights. He did lose one of his amateur fights to Ben Fodder. Um, another interesting prospect in his own right, Fodder is 7-0. But nonetheless, uh, Cody McKenzie, uh, being a, a featherweight fighter and having a bit of a... Uh, background training with, you know, a fighter like Lyle Birbaum. I think it's only a matter of time before we see this guy picked up. Probably another victory or two. Um, we'll see this guy make the transition, you know, whether it be in the WEC, Bellator, um, definitely something in the western western part of the world you'll see him over here. So Cody McKenzie, check him out. Great young prospect. Next guy I'm going to talk about, Shang Taekwon, 9-0, Three knockouts, six submissions, five foot seven, 170 pounds, um, 25 years old, Black Tiger team, one of China's best up and comers. Um, he's from Inner Mongolia, UMAC and URCC champion, Art of War veteran. I believe he's a purple belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He's got a big following and big expectations in China. I'm not sure if anybody's watched any of the Art of uh, Art of War cards, but you know they're definitely starting to get better. Fans are very enthusiastic in China. Um, definitely a, a guy I'd like to see make the transition, you know, maybe to the West to see how he matches up against some of the other welterweights. He's not a huge welterweight, but definitely an exciting fighter and a guy. Uh, guy I'd like to see step up and fight some uh, formidable opponents. So Zhang Taekwon, a guy to watch out for. Next guy I'm going to talk about is Alexander Sarnovsky. 9 0, 4 knockouts, 4 submissions, 5 foot 11, 155 pounds, 21 years of age. Um, he's a Russian fighter, Russ Fighter Sports Club. Um, trains with the likes of Ale Alexander Shlamenko and Baga Ajayev. Um, he's the winner of the Czech Pack Cup in the Army Combating Freestyle Fighting. He also won the Tom's Challenge four men lightweight tournament. Um, he's the winner of the third and fourth stages of the uh, of the uh, Union Nation Cup international event. He also won the Battle of the Gladiators. Um, bit of a wrestling background. 
Um, he's also taken part in the uh, M1 uh, Western uh, 2010 Challenger Series, I believe. Definitely an exciting fighter at that age, he was 20 and 21 years of age. Um, he's got no orbit up to go, of course. Would like to see him step up and fight some tougher competition, but nonetheless, an, an exciting fighter from Russia. Check him out, Alexander Sarnovsky. Next guy I want to talk about is Yusup Sadulev. Eight wins, no losses, one draw. Three and oh as an amateur as well. One knockout, six submissions. Trains out of LA Boxing with the lights. Also trains out of uh, U Flacker Academy and Team Toro. 5'6", 145 pounds, has fought at 135, possibly maybe better suited for 135. Um, wrestling and, and uh, BJJ background. Uh, I think he been moved to the States in 2006. But again, he, he is a Russian fighter, though he now trains and fights out of the USA. First place at the NAGA in 2008. First place featherweight Titan Championship 2008. First place... Pan Am Championship 2009, first place C3 featherweight champion, TFC 145 pound champion. Of course, training with the U Flacker, he's got the uh, strong submissions, his Muay and striking. He's trained at Team Mort Team Toro. Of course, uh, Team Toro is known for its Muay Thai training. His stand up is awesome. Trained with Leo Kornetsky, well respected stand up uh, trainer. Two years of wrestling. At Top Team Russia Freestyle, um, Titan Grappling Champion in 2007, and Pan American Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Champion in 2009. So he's got quite the following, quite the background. Um, perfect candidate for uh, uh, some of the lighter divisions, whether it be Bantamweight or Featherweight. Um, he's starting to uh, make some waves here um, in America. So definitely got to watch out for, and a guy you'll see. Fairly soon, I'm sure, with another winner or two, Yusup Sadulev. The next fight I'm going to talk about is also Russian. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any relation between him and Yusup, but Megomed Sadulev is the next fighter. 9-0, and oh, 6 submissions, 3 knockouts. For reserve for that, FT is the uh, club he trains at a 5'5", 170 pounds, 27 years of age. Again, a Russian fighter. Well-rounded grappling. Is his strong point. Nine victories in just a little over a year to start his pro career. He looks way too small for 170, but has dominated some legit welterweight fighters such as Alexander Botenko and Sergey Battle. It would be definitely interesting to see how he would face, compete at 155 against upper echelon fighters. So a guy to watch out for, Megamed Sadulev. Hopefully he, he kind of moves down the division. And fight some decent competition. Next guy I'm going to talk about is uh, a fighter I just recently uh, got the pleasure of watching. Um, again, another example of how the sport's starting to spread. Mexican fighter Augusto Montano, 8 0, 5 knockouts, 3 submissions, 200 pounds, um, big wins over Team Quest, BJJ Black Belt, Jose Assis, and Miguel Carrasco. Fighting for a little over a year with all victories coming within a 12 month period. Um, he won the one night fight man, fight eight man tournament um, at Extreme Fighter Society number one in Mexico City. Definitely an interesting prospect. I haven't seen a ton of him. I know he does have the eight pro fights. I've only had the pleasure of seeing two of his fights. So definitely got to watch out for again. So far, we looked at a fighter, you know, from Mexico, from China, from Russia, from the States. It just shows how globally big this sport is getting. Um, stay tuned for part two, and we'll uh, talk about the final four fighters.